Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Wednesday, April 26th, and today we are continuing that study about victory. And that brings us to Colossians chapter 2, starting in verse 6. And this is what it says. Therefore, as you received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk with him, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. <coughs> now we could do an entire study just on these two verses and this one sentence. But here's where it's breaking down as we break this down and go to understand it. First of all, you receive Christ as your Lord. Then you stay rooted and built up in him. The foundation of your life is that relationship of Jesus, with Jesus Christ. And through that, the rest of your life is built up in him. It's established by your faith. Just as we were taught, just as we've been taught, that's referring to the Bible. That's where we're getting that teaching from. Verse 8. See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy or empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. That verse is pointing to the spirit of religion. How do I say that? How do I come to that conclusion? Well, it's um, you're being taken captive by philosophy, by empty deceit, the spirit of religion is looking to deceive and pull away that gospel of grace and the elemental spirits of the world. It's about putting people on the throne. That's what that elemental spirit of the world is all about. It's about having people on the throne instead of Christ and not according to Christ. This whole verse is pointing to that spirit of religion and that deception that goes along with it. Verse 9, for in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily. So how does what does that mean? What that means is Jesus is fully God and was fully human. He is completely human, completely God. He came to earth to bear our sin. And you have been filled in him who is the head of all rule and authority. How do we get filled up? We get filled up when we spend that time with him, when we're taking that time in that prayer closet. We've got our nose in our Bible. We're praising him. We're listening to the still small voice of the Holy Spirit. That's how we get filled up with him. And when we're filled with him, we're filled with the head of rule and authority. Remember, he's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. And he is the one on the throne. Not any human being, not us, not ourselves. He's the one on the throne. In him also you were circumcised with a circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. What does this mean? What this means is you are dying to that old person, that person that follows those fleshly desires and goes with your whims and all of those kinds of things. You, now you are following Christ. That's what that means. Your focus is on Jesus Christ. Having been buried with him in baptism, when we're baptized in that water, the reason we're submerged is it was representing dying to that old self and rising again with this new life, in which you were also raised with him through the faith in the power of in the powerful working of God who raised him from the dead. Now God is working through you. Now you are empowered by the Holy Spirit. And you who were dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made alive together with him, having forgiven us all our trespasses by canceling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. So God has canceled out what you owe in order to have a relationship with him because of your sin. And now you're dead to that sin and you're alive in Christ. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. So what does that mean? What that means is Christ had triumph over these people 
who tried to have authority over him when he raised from the dead. And the same happens when we're baptized in his name. When we're baptized, we die to the old self and we're raised to that new self. If you've not been baptized, I encourage you to find a church and um, a good solid Bible teaching church and get baptized. Find out what that's all about and study it and go through that baptism so that you can be a part of that and you can um you can have that symbolic dying to your old self and raising to the to that new life. We've got to keep in mind that even though these rulers and authorities seem to have so much power, they have nothing compared to the power of Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of God the Father. They are the ones that have all that power. And we have to recognize that when we serve them, we are empowered through them. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.